Tonight, the Dothan City School Board taking a look at its mental health policy as the state has implemented changes this school year for students who receive much needed services. WDHN's Robert Smith Jr. with the story. Parents are used to signing permission slips right before their child goes back to school. And now you can expect another one as they need your signature to give your child mental health counseling. Over two months ago, the State Department of Education implemented a requirement for schools in Alabama that are receiving mental health funding to develop a mental health counseling opt-in form for students under the age of 14. We do support parents' rights and, and, the, and do hope for parental involvement into their children's education and well-being. Some children's well-being took a toll over the past two years or more dealing with the COVID pandemic. We have really taken charge in, in providing uh, social emotional supports and mental health services not only for our students but also for our staff. Dothan City Schools recently hired a mental health coordinator, which is new to their school system, another requirement for all schools beginning next school year. Right now, the school is offering an array of mental health services for children in need. From stress management, anger management, we deal a lot with grief. We have a lot of trauma type uh, therapy that we offer and provide. But children will miss out on those services if a form is not signed and on file. As of right now, the school system has decided to table the mental health policy for 30 days so parents can review the guidelines and provide input in case the policy needs to be changed. Certainly there are things in the mental health realm that may be controversial. There may be parents that may not want their children subjected to certain types of treatment or mental therapy. Uh, and so this gives parents a voice in that process and gives them a right to refuse or accept certain mental health services. Dr. Coe says they hope to have the mental health permission slips sent out to parents by Thanksgiving of this year. Reporting in Dothan, Robert Smith, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.